What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a game called Garbage. Uh, it's a game that takes place in a city where basically like I guess everybody is like homeless and you've got to like assemble like a small army of homeless guys to like fight your way across the city. It's like Punch Club, okay? It's like Punch Club if you lost your house at the beginning of the game and you had nowhere to live. You will train, you will get stronger, you will unlock new abilities on a massive skill tree in this tongue-in-cheek game about fighting your way across a town where like nobody has anything. So anyways, let's start a new game. Have you ever been homeless? I have not. An ancient hobo prophecy had foretold about your arrival. The Chosen One, who will bring back peace and stability to the streets. But there's one problem. You don't remember who you are, nor what your name is. You are also... Naked? What? So here we are, at the beginning of our prophecy. We are apparently Zikmund. And apparently we've got to get moving. So it wants me to scratch through the trash to pick up some items to build our first basic like objects uh, so like in this game you've got to scrap it you've got to scavenge trash and then you make like workout equipment and like sleeping areas and like showers basically we convert this area into a giant gym where we train and then we'll pick up other guys as the game goes along and create like our own gang so that we can like jump people with like three or four guys and like get even more loot we can travel around the city it looks like we've got a dark gopnik snapback okay and then we've also got some things right there. So I guess I'm just going to run around town with just a hat on. Uh, inside my bag, there's the hat right there. It gives us warmth and it gives us training bonuses. So I guess I'll throw that on. Yeah, we've got our hat on right now. It wants us to build gym equipment. Uh, we can train stamina, we can train strength, or we can train agility at the beginning of the game. And it's up to you how you want to do it. I want to pump some iron. Let's do this thing over here. Make it out of some hubcaps. So we click on him now, and then we click on the barbell, and we'll start, like, lifting weights so that we can get ready for all the fights that are coming. Uh, if you notice, we've got these little meters right here. They fill up as we get stronger. And then once they level up, this game actually has a big-ass skill tree. Like, a massive skill tree for, like, all of these various attributes that you can train. So... Something to keep in mind is that there's actually like a lot of stuff here. Uh, it wants me to build a bed so I can rest after my workout. So there's our little bed right there. Let's go ahead and we'll sprint on over here and we'll see if we can get ourselves a nice little nap all squared away. Time is a flying, but we're like sleeping at a somewhat normal hour, 3 in the morning. That's when I used to go to bed. My bedtime used to be 3 in the morning, but like I became very light sensitive at a certain point in my life. And so I go to bed at 3 and I wake up at like 8 when the sun came up. And I was like, this is not working. And so I had to kind of like hard reset. It wants me to build a shower. So there you go. We got our shower. And then we can prime it with that water bottle that we got out of one of the trash cans. And then we go take a shower real fast so that we can restore our hygiene. I think this game does have permadeath. I think if any of these hit like zero, you like die or something. <laughs> but I haven't tested it. You can play the game on like permadeath mode. Oh, I'm being invaded by two guys? No, dude. Oh, I'm being jumped. This is not good. Uh, I guess I'll just... Sometimes you gotta take that whooping, dude. It's like prison. Somebody's coming to take our corn muffin, and we gotta prove that we're not going down without a fight. Oh, dude, I'm getting the crap kicked out of me right now. No! Don't take my hat. It's all that I have. Okay, they didn't take my hat, so at least I was left with my bare basic provisions that I still have available. Uh, we get invaded every X amount of time. Nothing bad happens for right now when you get invaded. I assume that later on they're going to like trash your facilities or like you're going to get permanent injuries or something like that that you're going to have to deal with. But honestly, nothing bad has ever happened thus far when I lose a fight. And so like I haven't really been worrying about it altogether that much. Uh, he's going to train on his own like regardless of whether or not we tell him to go do stuff. He'll just take care of whatever meter needs filling when it requires filling. And so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, we are going to have to start roaming the town and looking for stuff to kind of build up this area pretty soon. Because we don't have any food available for right now. We looted a potato, but you can't do anything with it. However, everybody in town is tougher than us and meaner than us and stronger than us. And so, like, we kind of got to, like, fill out a little bit so that we can square up with all these ne'er-to-wells. And then we can take all of their paper and plastic bottles and turn it into more workout equipment so that we can get more stronger. Uh, we're about to level up, so there's our first strength level right there. My advice would be to give yourself multiple attacks. Right now, all we have is the strong punch. I would suggest maybe getting the hook punch as well. 
and then we can put that on our skill bar right there. Now we have two attacks that we can chain together, which will help us basically like bum rush people with more damage that they can deal with. Uh, because most of the enemies in this game, I've noticed, have multiple attacks. And so like the first thing I did when I played this game to test it on out is I took a bunch of like defensive abilities, and like the defensive abilities are cool and everything, like they negate the opponent's attack, but they just keep like that flurry of attacks coming, and you just can't like get ahead of it. And so for right now, I think I'm just going to let him level up, and once we get to level 3, we'll decide what we want to do, and we can kind of roam around town and try to fulfill the prophecy of garbage. Alright, we've hit the mystical level 3. I'm going to let him sleep and relax and stuff like that, but we could get like a strong kick down here. How does that compare to the punch? It's got knockback on it. Okay. I don't know if we need to take any of this stuff right now. I guess we could take like a, a passive... So we can attack faster, or we can get health regen. Yeah, let's get faster attack speed. I don't know if I need to slot that in. I'm pretty sure that's a passive. Like, I don't think we need to slot that anywhere on our great sphere grid of homelessness. Uh, we're going to rest this off. We're going to go over to the suburbs and see if we can rub some people up to take their stuff. Because I'd like to train some stamina and get some more HP too, so that not only can we dole out a punch, we can also, like, take a punch. Alright, so we're all filled up right now. Let's take this show across town. Uh, we can go to Electric Avenue. That fat belly brings me hope he serves decent hot dogs. But the look on his face makes me worried. What happened? Alright, so we can loot this over here, but there was nothing inside of it. And there was nothing inside of that. If we want to loot these right here, we gotta beat up that dude right there. That horrible singing is scaring away all my clients. All right, well, apparently this guy's just, like, singing over here. Prince Rodeo. We gotta fight him, man. It's the only option open to us. Ding, ding, ring the bell. The power of the snapback is with us. He's only got one attack, so this should be an easy knockout. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but we starched him. That's what I like to see. We got some food, and we got a dandelion. All right, so we ran him off. That means we can get access to all this stuff over here. What is in here? Uh, we got a bottle and a can. And it looks like we got a bottle and a can. The food is the big thing that I'm stoked about because our food meter was looking kind of scary. Uh, I'm trying to sell my hot dogs here. First the singing hobo and now his friends. My clients just walked past. Can you take care of this once and for all? All right, man. These guys look kind of tough. I don't know, dude. We can talk to her. Finally, I can chill on my balcony without the horrible hobo mumble. Would you do me another favor and bring me a flower bouquet? I can try. I can't promise anything, but I can give it a go. Oh, do we get painter's overalls if we do that? Oh, dude. Okay, let's go back home real fast. Let's go back home. All right, we're going to go back home, and we're going to get our relaxation on. Yeah, just kind of restore all that right there, and when you get back up, I'm going to need you to eat some food because our hunger meter looks terrible. So there's the food right there. We bumped up our hunger meter, and we're looking pretty solid. All right, our hygiene's looking good. I don't know if I want to work out this hard. Let's go work out. I do have the stuff to build, like, a fire pit to warm up, but it's not that cold yet. So I think we'll be okay. I'm kind of going to, like, wait on that until later on. How are we looking on our strength training right now? We're getting closer. Maybe I'll go fight those guys once I get to level 4, because then I unlock a new ability that allows me to flurry a little bit more aggressively. It's getting a little colder right now. I can't help but notice that, like... It's getting kind of bad right now. Uh, we did just level up, though, which is pretty sweet. So let's take a look at these new skills and see what we can rock out here. Uh, I like the idea of health regening. I think that sounds cool. Uh, we can get parry over here. It looks like I can't go up that way just yet. I'm kind of, like, tempted to take another attack. That way we can just flurry on people super crazy. Get 5% energy regen. Um, yeah, let's take the strong kick, I guess. And then we'll throw that onto our bar. So now we have three attacks. I wonder if I can take these guys over here. Also, I wonder what happens if I'm away when the invasion happens. Is that, like, super bad? Like, what's going to happen if I'm not here when the invasion happens? Because I kind of want to go back to the suburbs and, like, mess this dude up. That's kind of like, I kind of want to go fight this guy. Kalai, I was waiting for you, you son of a bitch. Let me finish the bottle and I'll kill you. I mean, I don't think that's going to work out the way you think it's going to work out. Well, Let's square up, bro. Mm-hmm. How you feel about that now, huh? How you feel about that? You were talking all that good shit until you were eating pavement, my guy. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, what about this dude over here? Hey, ugly, get out of here. It's my spot and I'm not sharing it. I mean, he's only got 18 HP. I bet we could take him. I mean, we might get knocked the hell out right now, but who knows? He's only got the one attack. There we go. With the last of our energy, we have finished off our great and powerful quest. This place is disgusting and you're a part of it. Hey, we got two. He gave me two dollars to beat up other people, dude. That's not very much. We did get some coveralls, though, so I guess I'll take that. What else you got going on? How's my pal doing? You want a hot dog? Gives the energy you need for the day. I can trade two fifty for a meal. Okay. Um, I think I got a meal. Let me put the coveralls on real fast, dude. There we go. Apparently, the painter's coveralls are pants. What kind of a buff do they give me? Do they give me anything good? So it raises my warmth up by 10%. We get some bonus health and we get some defense. Take that. Defense. Da, da, da. Defense. Yeah, you get like a little nap on in there real fast. Perfect. You've earned it, man. You earned it. Don't ever let them tell you that you didn't earn that. It gave us some extra HP, so that's kind of nice. What is that? Grand Theft Trash? What is, what, what is happening right there? Is like somebody going to roll out on me super hard? Is my warmth going up right now because I put on that new stuff? No, it looks like my warmth is still going down pretty aggressively. Alright, well, shower it off, my guy. Shower it off. You've earned it. And then uh, I think we're going to have to figure out our warmth situation pretty soon. I mean, you can, you can work out as much as you want. I'm going to take a look at the map real quick. Where else can I go? Uh, it looks like we can go to the playground and we can square up over there. Oh, my God, the city is so much larger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I mean, with all this extra energy we have, our workouts are going quite a bit better. It'd be cool if your character got, like, buffer or, like, a little bit more agile and kind of thin and raily looking or, like, a little bit more stout looking, depending on what you decided to level up. Like, that'd be really, really cool. I'd like to see, like, real effects on your character. It's pretty cold right now. I feel like we could probably be doing better. I think I'm going to have to make the fire pit. I don't think I'm going to have a choice. We can make the fire pit right now, and we do have the paper to get it going. Uh, yeah, let's build the fire pit. And then, dude, I'm going to tell you what, bro. Uh, throw that in there, and then just get your warmth back up real quick. Like, I'm not going to use all my paper to do it. But I do want you to get your meter back up to 100%. Maybe we'll eat something after this, too. Oh, I'm about to get invaded, dude. I didn't even realize. Oh, this guy's got a puff jacket, dude. I want that puff jacket. You better give me that puff jacket, bro. You better, you better let me have that puff jacket, my guy. That's mine now. You better get... The realness is coming, bro. It is coming right now. There you go. We started out okay. We started out... Look, we're, we're starting out okay. Oh, he parried it, dude. Oh, I'm tired. No. Oh, we got him. Okay. Where's that jacket at? Let me get that jacket. Oh, I didn't get anything? Oh, weak, dude. I wanted that puff jacket, though. I was trying to get that puff jacket on because it's cold out here. Dude, go get your warmth back up before we run out of heat first. No, dude. Go get your warmth. Go get your warmth. There you go. Like, I gotta make the best use of this paper we have laying around. So let's max out. And then you eat a little meal right there. Get yourself all squared away. We'll go ahead and sleep for a little bit, and then we'll go see what other quests are around that we can take care of. I think we're about to hit level 5 strength, too, so I might give myself some health regen or something after this. Alright, so go get the... Yeah, go pump the iron. Yeah, I, Go pump the iron in the California for the Californians with the Austria. Yeah, I, I think we might get the level up right here. It looks like it to me. But I think we're going to need new workout equipment pretty soon. Alright, so I'm going to take the... We can get a stronger kick right there. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the health regen. I don't know if the health regen means that we're going to regenerate more health like in combat or like out of combat. I'm a little bit confused on the specificities right there. I have two dollars to play around with. I haven't actually checked out anything past the hot dog vendors, so I think we should probably do that too. 
I'd like to get some of this other stuff like taken care of, but I don't think I can afford to build any of this stuff just yet. We gotta find some more things laying around. Okay, so our fire is officially run out. So we're just gonna be losing warmth from here. Let's see if we can go abroad and find anything else. We can go out to the playground right now. So let's go out to the playground and see what's over here. Only the most notorious bad guys chill in the basketball playground at night. I don't care about that. We'll take care of this business with a quickness. Ooh, money maker. Got a bunch of goodies out of there. Sadly, it's broken and I don't have the tools to fix it. Oh, we found a pizza. Okay. Nice, dude. The playground's got all the stuff I need. See that flower over there? It's so pretty. Wait, there's a flower. Oh, yeah, it's growing. I need to look at the flower. Don't take it. Oh, this guy's kind of tough, dude. I don't know if we can take this guy. I got a bad feeling about this one. I got a real bad feeling about this. Oh, he headbutted me in my mouth, dude. Yeah, this guy's causing problems right now. Like, I think we put up a pretty good fight, but we got knocked out. We're going to have to, like, diversify a little bit. He said, I'm going to keep looking at it forever. On the plus side, we got access to a new training area. Yeah, let's work on our stamina, dude, because I feel like when I'm getting took out right now, it's all because my HP and my stamina doesn't hold out. And now we've got a pretty significant meter. Something bad's going to happen really soon, and I don't know what it is. It concerns me. Yeah, work on your hygiene real fast. Go ahead and take care of that while we wait to see what this guy's going to do. Do you want to participate in Grand Theft Trash? All right, man. Let's do it. Apparently, we're just street brawling for stuff right now. And I need my plastic bottles, okay? Bottles and cans and just clap your hands and just clap your hands. All right, we took him out pretty easy. Wasn't too bad. How's our how's our hygiene looking right now? We're looking okay. All right, get that meter back up, and then we're going to try the training mattress. We're going to do some push-ups out here. Get them triceps all nice and swole. Seems like the temperature is continuing to drop on me, and that makes me feel really concerned about myself. All right, let's train it on up. Yeah, get that on in there, dude. Hopefully, we have enough stamina to where we can, like, get a level in one go. Oh, no, it's not going to work like that. Like, I don't know if this is honestly, like, one of those games where you can level up everything or if you kind of have to, like, specialize. All right, well, just do the rotation, then. Just do the rotation, man. There we go. Push it up, bro. Push it up, bro. There it is. Get them push-ups done. All right, so, like, we got a little bit of stamina right now. They added an extra two to our energy meter. Let's take a look at the stamina tree down here and figure out what we can do. So I can get block over here, but I got to be level seven to slot it. Oh, I guess I got to get there. Okay. Like, are any of these attacks, like, free? All right, well, I'm going to learn that guy right there. Yeah, go back and get some rest real fast. Our shower refills on water whenever it rains. So, like, we don't really have to worry about supplying that. We just kind of had to prime it up first. I do think we're going to have to figure out. So, how's my food looking? My food is good. My warmth is freaking terrible, so we got to worry on that. So, that's a little bit low. We definitely have, like, needs that we need to take care of. Uh, you can keep actually jump off of there. Go get your hygiene done real fast because we got an invasion coming pretty soon, too. And, like, I'd like to be on top of that before things get too rowdy. Luckily, it doesn't look like being in the shower affects our warmth for right now. Hopefully, the temperature goes back up soon. Uh, with this right here, I guess throw a paper in there and then go stand next to the fire until you get your warmth all the way back. All right, warmth looks good. I feel solid about warmth. Yeah, just keep on training that stam, dude. I want to get that block ability and slot it on in so that we can cancel out an enemy attack every now and again. Make ourselves a little bit more defensive because, like, the all-out offense worked for the beginning of the por- Like, the beginning portion of the game, like, the all-out frenzy of fingernails, elbows, and headbutts was working pretty good for us. 
But from where we're sitting right now, that is no longer the case. We're about to get invaded too, so like we might get starched up a little bit right here. It doesn't look like you gain anything from like the invasions. Oh, we also, I gotta like figure out, so do I want to take part in this with only like two hours to rest in between? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm not super sure. Maybe get some warmth back up before that goes out. And just like take care of some of like our, our vital needs. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do it. It wants me to do it for, for plastics. All right, man. This guy does look a little tougher. I'm a little worried about this fight. I don't know if I have time to sleep this off afterwards. Dude, he kicked me in the junk. That's not that's not good sporting right there. There we go. I don't know if that was entirely worth it. Because now I've got like two hours to rest. Yeah, this may not work out in our favor. I got 45 minutes to sleep. Hopefully we get enough energy back to where this invasion doesn't matter. Yo, let me get them shoes though. Oh, this guy's pretty tough and we're not at our best. Oh, he can meditate too? Oh no, dude. Oh, we already knocked him out. Never mind. He's already done for. Butt cheeks to the breeze, I guess. All right, well, sleep it off real quick. Okay, and here comes our level up. Let's get this thing. We got one XP left until we're good. Uh, I want the block ability. That's what I want. So 50% chance to block 70% of damage. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll put that in there, too, so that we got, like, a little bit more of that oomph. I'd like to get some more health regen and some more other stuff. Oh, we can be chubby. It'll add more health. Okay. What is this right here? Like, what is this tree over on this side? So we've got like that. We've got that. It looks like we've got something right here. That's probably for agility. Oh, it looks like it just rotates, so they don't have all the skill trees in yet. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Jump up off that thing, dude. We got better stuff to do today. We got to get out here, and we got to, like, raise some hell. I got to find some new, like, we got to get that flower from the playground is what we really need to do. Okay, so we're all stocked up. Our warmth is not looking great, but let's take this show on the road. We got to go back to the playground, and we got to beat this guy. We don't have a choice. We have to beat him. Like, he's a little bit tougher than we are, but, dude, I think we can take him. Oh, nine damage right at the outset, dude. I'm not in love with that. Hey, we got him. We got the second flower that we needed to find in order to make the flower lady happy. My flower is taken. Your flower is definitely getting taken, dude. There we go. So we got that right there. It looks like the loot does not come back, but it looks like you can do stuff with some of the other things around here. I don't know. Uh, let's head on back to here. And we're going to get ourselves some rest real fast. As far as meters go, we're not in great shape. I don't want to, like, burn up a whole bunch of new stuff, but I think we may have to. Alright, so where else can I go right now? She wanted, like, a rose or something like that, right? I think that was definitely what she wanted. This looks like Night City, but the AI is working. <laughs> What's up with this guy over here? I'm starving and I would give everything I own for a meal. Okay. Alright. The hot dog guy isn't here, so I guess the maps are different depending on the time of day. I think I have the three flowers. I don't have the rose, though, so I don't know where we get the rose from. But I gotta find the rose, I guess, before we can do much else. Uh, we'll go back over... Can I go anywhere else for right now? Nothing else is unlocked. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll go back home then. Uh, we're all trained up. I guess he can keep working on that and getting swole. I guess. I don't know what else to work on. I'm going to have to do my hygiene and fill up my, my warmth meter really, really soon. I don't know if I have enough stuff to build any of this stuff. 
plants die in negative temperatures. Okay. So he's tired right now. I can build more training equipment right here, too. We could go in on agility. What can I build elsewhere? I can build a torch right there. Heats and lights an area slightly, if only we had more paper. So I wonder if that makes you slowly gain warmth while you're using any of that equipment over there. It seems like that might be the case. Uh, we could build a shack over there so that we can get more homies. Uh, it is the daytime right now, so we could go back and check on other places during the daytime. So, this is how it all starts. You grow up as a street kid, and the next thing you know, you're a criminal. Oh, dude, there's a bunch more people here. Let's see here. Such a fun place to hang out. This is the only place I can see my kids. My wife divorced me and doesn't let me see them anymore. Feels bad. Can you calm down my sister? Talk with Annie. She's worried. Excuse me, sir. We need your help. The stinky mister does not allow us to play here, and he stole our ball. Georgie the Paranoid. Have you seen any bottles around here? I really hate all these kids running around there. Pain in the ass. If you find anything, it's mine. Okay. Well, like, I'll, I'll square up with him, I guess. Fist fighting over basketballs is probably not the best look. What is that ability? Smelly breath. Oh, no, dude. Is he going to, like, burp on me? Oh, we reduced his attack. Nice. Dude, we just need one more solid clean hit. There we go. Take him down. So we got the basketball, we got some food, and we got some seeds. He says he'll be back, but I don't know if I trust that. Uh, here's your ball back. You completed the quest. Here's a reward. Oh, we got some sneakies, dude. All right. I don't have to walk around barefoot anymore. I climbed up here, and now you can't get to me. Uh, we need an axe. I can chop that down and force her back down. Okay, I don't know where I get the axe from, but it looks like daytime and nighttime locations are different from one another. We can go to the auto mechanic, but I think it's a good idea that we rest for a little bit. Kind of get him, like, looking a little bit better. Uh, I'll probably eat some food, too, and work on all my meters. We just got some extra paper, so, like, I can throw that on in there, I guess. It's taken us a while to get our energy level back. I think it's going to be a good idea if we start focusing on some of the passives so that we don't have to play the micromanagement game quite so much. Uh, light that thing on up and get your heat back. Then we take a shower. Dude, we're, like, moving up in the world right now. We're taking care of business out here. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Oof. Do we want to participate in Grand Theft Trash? I think we should. I think I have enough plastics. What I need is cans. This guy doesn't seem that tough. We can take him. This dude looks like a punk. We got this. My man hasn't even fought until he got pants yet. I got pants. What you want to do about these pantalones, bro? Mm-hmm. You thought. You thought. Hey, I got a can right there. Nice. Apparently, I can build more stuff. Um, do I want to agility train? Or, like, what do I want to do here? It looks like I can build an NPC so that I can have more people in my group. But then again, I got to feed more people in my group when I do that. So, like, that worries me a little bit. Uh, this right here is a game called Garbage. Uh, is the subject matter tacky? Absolutely. Does the game function? Absolutely. <laughs> like, if you're looking for something like Punch Club, but for people that live on the street, I, I guess that this is a game that nobody asked for, but now exists. So you can check out the demo down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow. Later, dudes. <laughs>